Okay, so this is where I've got two so far. I'm just gonna put a bit of cream into the ribbon because it's not white. And then what I'll do, because it's got like a bit of a herringbone, I'll put that in with a pencil, I think. So that's gone in there. Next thing, I need brown stems for the berries because that's the colour they are. We need a brown stem. more blacky brown so I need where's my black do, 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 do. oh there it's this mix oh my god it's very dark <laughs> going from one job I just washed my brushes in my cup of tea as well so that was nice I do that a lot actually if I, if they're close together my brush always goes in my tea right Okay, so here we go. So we're going like that. Okay, it's coming off okay so far. And then <clears throat> would have been easier if I if I had chosen a plain tin, because then it's like doing a painting on a painting. Um, oh, that's kind of brown down there. And then on the edge of the berries, there's like where the seed sort of head block was. I can't remember what they called at the moment. So put that in. And then we've all got them. And then this is sort of a browny green stem that goes along the tin. And I'm going to mix my greens next um, for the tin. I, I think I need a clean plate. Have a look at my painting plate. <laughs> yep. But you know what? You get some really good colours when you start mixing loads of things together. But I need some space for green. All I've got is sap green it's not a bad green but the colors on the tin 